Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Reports tutorial. Pro Kitchen software features many reporting options, including manufacturer, customer, multi quote, and quick reports. All of these reports can be found in the ribbon under the Reports tab at the top. Before creating reports for your designs in Pro Kitchen, you must have your global specification set first. Otherwise, you'll get an error on your screen when you go to create reports. If you're not familiar, global specifications set the style choices for your cabinet lines such as the door and drawer styles, wood species, finish, etc. These settings determine the pricing for your reports, so if they are not set, there is no pricing for your reports to calculate. Let's start with the manufacturer report. This report is manufacturer specific and is used for ordering from your cabinet manufacturer. Click on the manufacturer's report icon to launch the report setup dialog box. The general tab sets the information used to track the order and includes the purchase order number, order number, order date, job name, and the date the report was created on, and type in any special instructions for this order as well. The Dealer Info tab sets your business contact information and is typically already filled in from the information you have set in your design settings under the Dealer tab. The Shipment Info tab sets shipping destination information, shipping to dealer, customer, or other. The Dealer and Customer selections will auto-fill in the information from your design settings under the Users tab, and selecting Other will let you manually fill in the shipping information accordingly. The Additional Report Data tab sets the information required to calculate your costs. Type in your dealer multiplier, which is given to you by your manufacturer, then type in the sales tax if you pay sales tax on this order, and then set the tariff charge as needed. The Shipment Charge tab sets the information needed to calculate the shipping charges for this manufacturer. And then once all of your settings have been set accordingly, click OK to generate the manufacturer report. Your report will render and automatically open once ready. The Reports viewer consists of your freshly generated report and a top toolbar with tools to save the report to your computer as a PDF, Word, Text, or Excel file, print the report, pagination arrows to view through each page of your report, drop down page list to jump to a specific page in the report, or set the report size to the actual paper size to fit the screen, or to full width, and you can also manually zoom in or out and select a zoom percentage. Use the tools to inspect and save or print your report and then click the X in the upper right hand corner to exit the reports viewer. If you're working with a multicolor design and your manufacturer requires separate order forms for each finish color, then you can select the copied catalog from the reports ribbon and then click the manufacturer report icon to set up, generate, and save the report for your second finish color cabinetry items. The customer report is used to create an itemized list of all of the charges for the job to give to your customer. Click on the Customer's Report icon to launch the Report Setup dialog box. The Catalog Settings tab sets the information used to calculate the customer's cost for the job quote and must be set for each catalog used in the design. For each catalog, you can choose to include or exclude it from the Customer Report, set the sales tax percentage, and add additional charges like a tariff percentage, design charge whether percentage or flat dollar amount and choose to tax it, shipping charge by percentage or flat dollar amount and choose to tax it, and installation charge per cabinet or one flat dollar amount total and choose to tax it. At the bottom you can set up three different discount, multiplier, or markup calculations, but you can only use one pricing method to generate the report with. 
Select which pricing method to use by checking the radio selector next to each field and notice the program will only let you select one. If you're not sure what pricing method to use, resting your cursor over the question mark symbols will open a pop-up tooltip to explain that pricing calculation equation. If you've selected the discount method, checking the box next to show global option will include the prices of the global specification choices in the report as a separate line item. Then select your next catalog to set up the calculations for the items included in that one. And if you choose to uncheck the include catalog and customer report box, then all of the items in that catalog will be excluded from the customer report. The logo tab lets you add your company logo and your own page header and footer to the customer report. Use the Browse button to upload them from your computer and take note of the recommended aspect ratio for uploading your logo, 4.5 to 1 width compared to height. The Pricing tab displays the customer price per item in your design for each catalog included. You can select each line item's price to change it as needed by double-clicking the column. You can also change or add an installation charge by clicking on any line item in the installation charge column and typing in that amount. The project settings tab will display the information about your project and is typically automatically filled in with the information you have set in your design settings, but can be filled in manually as needed and add any additional notes at the bottom. Then once all of your settings have been set accordingly, click OK to generate the customer's report. Use the tools in the top toolbar to go through each page and double check your calculations to ensure your report is accurate. The first page will cover your project information and then the report will lay out catalog by catalog displaying each one's global specifications and bill of materials and the catalog job total. At the very end, the report will display a complete job total with all of the additional charges included like tax, design charges, etc. Then save the report to your computer or print it and exit the report viewer. The multi-quote report is similar to the customer report, but is used to generate up to five different quotes of the design with different style choices, i.e. global specifications, from the same catalog. Click on the multi q report icon to launch the report setup dialog box. The catalog settings tab sets the information used to calculate the customer's cost for the quotes. These fields set the calculations for all of the quotes, meaning you cannot select different pricing methods for each quote. Select your catalog and then type in the number of quotes you wish to create. You can render up to five, but no less than one. And then set up your pricing calculations in the fields below, just like you did in the customer report. The Logo and Project Settings tab are the same tabs that can be found in the Customer Report setup. Logo will allow you to browse your computer and upload your own header, footer, and company logo to the report. And Project Settings will display the information of your project and can be edited accordingly. The Quote Number tabs is where you'll be able to set new global specifications for each style selections you want quoted from your chosen catalog in this design. Your original global options will be displayed in each quote tab and you can go through each quote number and make new selections accordingly. Remember that when you select new global specifications, to work your way from top to bottom in the list because some style choices aren't available with certain selections. Changing these global specifications in each tab will not change your, glo your original global specifications in your design file. It is only being used to calculate the price of the design as if it was being designed using those global specifications. 
And then once you're done choosing and setting each quote style choices, click OK to render your multi-quote report. Again, use the tools in the top toolbar of the viewer reports to inspect each page of the report and save or print when ready. You'll see that the multi-quote report looks very similar to the customer report, except its layout displays the one selected catalog with the different quotes of styles and its pricing side by side, so your customer can compare and contrast which style they'd like to go with according to the price difference. The combined report is used to create a report of several files or reports from your computer. This report gives you flexibility in choosing the content that will be included and can be useful for archive purposes of jobs you need to keep a history of. Click the combined report icon to launch the report setup dialog box. Use the tools in the toolbar to add files from your computer, remove files you've already uploaded, move the file up or down changing its order position in the report, and preview the report before you create it. You can also type in any special comments to add to this report and it will be displayed on its own page in the report. Once all files have been uploaded, click OK to create and save the combined report to your computer. The combined report will not automatically open with the report's viewer, so to view it once created, go and open it from the area on your computer where you just saved it. The quick report will very quickly generate a full report of your entire design including a list of products, prices, global options, and display all of your plan and elevation views both in 2D and 3D. This report is also great for archiving jobs you need to keep a history of. Click on the quick report icon and it will quickly generate and open your quick report. Once it's open on your computer, you can browse through and see what all was included and then use your computer settings to save or print the report that was quickly created. And that's it! Now you're ready to generate all of the reports needed for your design projects in ProCAD.